Mungano and Abijiji, they, are, they were always with us. Wherever there is eviction, we were taking this eviction. Wherever there is any court order, we are taking this court order. And immediately, we take these court orders. They were acting on the behalf of the slum dwellers. 1990s, we were meeting very many challenges. The challenges which, is, which were there, the provincial administration could come and burn our shacks, our, 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 because before the structure which we were putting, we were putting polythene, papers, and cotton. We were using very small type of trees, then we cover it with polythene paper. When they come, they, by then, they demolish and then they burn everything. After they burn everything, and we were to look for ways of we're putting back the structure. 2001, the eviction notices started coming to the slum area, mostly the land we are staying now today, Ruben, Njenga, and other slums. The eviction started, and when eviction started, they started with Changombe. It was demolished completely, it is no longer there. It was hosting about, it was a slum hosting about 10,000 structures. They went to KPA, which was carrying about 20,000 structures, was demolished to a certain slum just next to Wilson Airport, Mutumba. It was demolished, complete. Then from there they went to Sokimau, it was demolished complete. They went to Balozi, it was demolished complete. Then they went to Kitui village, it was demolished completely. Only one part remained, very small part. They went to Kiambio. Then from Kiambio, they came to Mukuru Kwanjenga, whereby they were using bulldozers, spoiling people's properties without notice. It was up and down between us, the squatters, and the, those, uh, abs, ab, we call them absentee landlords, because most of them, they say, they stay, they stay in the suburbs, and upstairs, they stay in the suburbs, they come here and they say this land belongs to them. It is inhuman because you cannot just wake up and come to a place where people have got their families, you burn everything, then you don't know whether these children are going to eat for the day. Sometimes, to make it worse, they were coming during the rainy season. And they, during the rainy season, after demolishing, demolishing these structures, the children were having nowhere to go. This is whereby uh, Akiba Mashinani and Mungano and Avijiji and Catholic and Muslim world came in to fight for the right of these hum human beings which are being harassed 